Final segment of the Jomo Show. It's the Pro Bowl games coming up, or already happened. I actually don't know when they, I believe they're all done at this point. And that could be the start of our conversation. I don't know what the Pro Bowl is or where to find it or when it's being covered. And, you know, I just, I don't know a whole lot about it. And that's my fault. I could look it up. But if, for me, for something as big as the Pro Bowl, if me, you know, I, I'm very tuned into sports, you know, especially the NFL when it comes to watching them on social media. And, you know, I follow all the accounts and stuff. If I don't know when I could watch the Pro Bowl games, then I believe that there's a problem. It could be a problem with, with the simple advertising on social media. It could be a problem with the fact that I, I don't think it's one event. I think it's a week-long thing nowadays. But the, the overall issue is I don't know. But regardless of that, it happened. You've seen the clips. I've seen in the clips on social media and stuff. So this was all the conversation last year and even the year before when they were starting to change the format of the Pro Bowl. But what does the Jomo show think about it? I like, honestly, I like how it's formatted now. I like that it's a lot more lighthearted. You know, the Pro Bowl's always been a little bit more lighthearted, but I like how it's just the guys and like, Shorts and t-shirts, you know, just kind of casual. You could see their personality more because, I mean, that, that's one big thing with football is that the players always have a helmet on. And just by the nature of it, you can't get as connected to the players as, let's say, in the NBA where they're in, we'll call it normal clothes. They're not like padded up or a suit of armor or anything. So the Pro Bowl allows them to just kind of be very casual. You, they show their personality. You get a, you know, you can literally see what they look like. Like it, it, that, I feel like that goes a long way. When it comes to you know being connected and being a fan of the players that are included. So I like that it's casual. I like the flag football part of it. Honestly, I don't mind that it's, a, that it's flag football as opposed to the padded up tackle. I know it's you know, for the players. They don't like it as much. Alleg- you know, they probably don't like it as much. The offensive linemen, excuse me, the defensive linemen, they don't get the representation Excuse me. They don't get the representation the same in flag football as they do, you know, when they're fully padded up and stuff. And I know they don't go all the way as hard. And it's more for fun, but, you know, it kind of sucks for the old line. But I, I like the flag football promotion by the NFL. I like that it's going to be an Olympic sport in four years at the next Olympic Games. And. No, shout out to the Paris Olympic Games coming up. That's going to be fun to cover. I'll, we'll talk about that on the Joe Mo Show for sure go, over the summer. But I, I like the promotion of flag football. I play with my friends, and I think it's very fun. I think it's a way, it, it, obviously, it's a very casual, entry-level way to enjoy the sport of football without hurting yourself over it. You know, you buy some you buy some flags at the dollar store, you grab a football, and boom, you already have enough to play. As opposed to you need the helmets and the pants and the cleats and the thigh pads and the shoulder pads. Like you football is not as as accessible as a sport. It's a problem that the sport has when it comes to growing a global global brand. I'm not against football growing in that sense. Tackle football will always be there in America, but for the rest of the world, it's probably just gonna have to be flag football. So I like the promotion of it. And I like that it's, I mean, there's always the risk of injury when you do the tackle football Pro Bowl. So this kind of takes it out. Obviously not entirely. You walk out the door and you could get injured. But, you know, I I like that it's just a lot more lighthearted. But the issue with it, in the, the, the stigma that I don't think you could ever fully get rid of is, one, the fact that it's not in Hawaii. That blows for the players. And I think it could hold all these things in Hawaii instead of Orlando, Florida. We all love Orlando. Orlando's nice. Florida's a nice place to be. But, like, it's such a, you know, with all due respect to Orlandians, but compared to Hawaii, it's so, it seems like such a cheap cop out for what used to be a great vacation for all the players and their families. Like, Hawaii is S tier vacation. Florida is B-tier vacation for warm weather. You know, and I don't know. I mean, forgive me if I'm unaware of 
some situation over in Hawaii that I don't know of, but I know that they've been doing. They did it in Vegas. They've done it in Florida again. Like they 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 just won't do it in Hawaii anymore. But yeah, when you look at like from like up here, you know, my hand up <laughs> from up there to Hawaii to down in Orlando, it's it's cheap. It's like like why can't we go to Hawaii? It's all about it's it's all relative. That's I think is what's the problem with the Pro Bowl and what a lot of players and a lot of fans have an issue with. Not just the fact that it's the destination, but like well, a big part of it for me at least is is the destination, but it's like it used to be this big thing and this big spectacle. It's something the players look forward to. It's something that was just like part of the fraternity of the NFL. But now that it's just this fugazi, you know, backyard field day type of thing, then it's not as cool. It's not about the present. It's about what the past used to be. That is what I think is the issue with the Pro Bowl. You can't really change that. Now, if you really want it to be in the middle, you put this thing in back in Hawaii or some island vacation spot. Orlando will never be an island vacation. It's just, it, it's a cheap alternative for a business and for a league that makes so much money. You telling me you can't fly out a bunch of people to Hawaii? You're telling me that up until like three years ago, I understand COVID might have been a part of it, but you're telling me that all of a sudden the financials are no good that you can't afford to fly all these families out to Hawaii and you know for, for a week? Insane. Yes, you can, but you're too cheap to do it. And it's costing the players a good time. And it's costing the players that work so hard in this league and deserve it and have been looking forward to playing in the Pro Bowl since they were a, you know, a high school player. You know, like that, That's part of the gig. And you can't fly them out to, to Hawaii. That sucks. And, or, and some of the events, like, like okay, there's the, there's like the kicker, there's the kick-tac-toe where the kickers are like hitting the ball on a big board for tic-tac-toe. It's fun. Like, I don't have a problem with any of the games. I don't care if they're, like, soft, if you want to call them that. I think they're fun. I think they're creative. I wish there was more of, like, the physical challenge type of games where it's, like, you know, how many reps of 225 can you do on the bench? How far can you throw the football? You know, like, I like the pass accuracy challenge, but, like, like let's I, – I like just the straight metrics. Like, do like have the, play, have the wide receivers do a long jump or something. Like, I think that stuff would be really cool. And, you know, some of, like, the bigger, stronger events for the linemen, like, no, let's do more of that stuff. I I like the games, but, like, come on, let's be real here. So, overall, I like the Pro Bowl. It's just what it's compared to in the past is what's going to be a stigma over it for a long time. So, that's going to do it for the Jomo Show. That's all I got in the Super Bowl. That's all I got in the Pro Bowl on women's basketball and on Oakland men's basketball and my short little rant on locals, Detroit sports media. That'll do it for you on the Joe Mo Show. Giovanni Mosheri has been your host and will be your host next time, Mondays at noon on WXOU. Be sure to subscribe on YouTube. Be sure to five star on Spotify. Be sure to subscribe to WXOU Sports on YouTube and find all of our broadcast articles, interviews, anything you need. Find us all on WXOU. We'll be back here Monday at noon on the Joe Mo Show. This has been Giovanni Mosheri.